Hi, welcome to PDF.co. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to fill PDF with data submitted from Wix forms using PDF.co and Zapier. Let's start. First, you need to create a Wix automation that will trigger every time there's a new submission on your form. Here's the Wix form where I can get the submission. I will submit sample data that I will use for this tutorial. We will fill this sample form 1040 with the data that we get from Wix forms. Let's now go ahead and create a zap. Search and select Wix automations from the list of trigger apps. Then, select automation rule as the trigger event. After that, select or connect your Wix account. Make sure to select the correct automation rule that you're going to use. Once you're done, you may now test the trigger. If there are no errors, you may now proceed with creating an action. Search and select PDF.co as the action app. Then, select PDF filler as the action event. After that, select or connect your PDF.co account. Let's proceed with setting up the action parameters. For the source PDF, put the URL where your PDF form is located. For the fillable fields, type any information in the following format. Page, semicolon, field name, semicolon, value. You may also set the name of your output PDF. Then, click continue. Once you're done setting up your action, you may now test it. After testing it successfully, you will be given a temporary URL where you can check the output PDF. Here's what the output looks like. To save your output PDF in Google Drive, you need to create another action. Search and select Google Drive as the action app. Then, select upload file as the action event. After that, select or connect your Google Drive account. For setting up the Google Drive action parameters, select the Google Drive where your folder is located. Then, select the folder where you want to upload the file. For the file, put the temporary URL that you got from PDF.co action. Then, click Continue. After setting it up, you may now test the action. Once the test returns as successful, you may now check your Google Drive. As you can see, the file has been uploaded into the folder on my Google Drive. That's it for this tutorial. We have a lot of tutorials that you can check on our YouTube channel or on our website. Thanks for watching.